Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and guests. How do you create balance in every area of your life? Design a life you love and live it with passion. Anyone? Anyone have a philosophy? Well, in my book, Design Your Life Inside Out, it's a nine-step guide for creating balance in your life. I have a very simple answer. Decide. Decide. And I created an acronym for the word decide. The first D is for desire. You must have a burning desire to do it, to create this balance, to create this life that you love. So the first step is desire, a burning desire. Not a passive, it would be nice, I would like it, but then I would settle for that. It wouldn't be bad if I had even just that, but a burning desire. The E is for enthusiasm. Get excited about the goal that you're setting. Enthusiasm, which means from really, again, the inside out, enthusiasm has to do with the root word theos, which means God, from the inside out. C is for clarity. Get clear on exactly what it is you want, set a goal, and make a plan for it. The I is for intuition. It's that inner knowing, we all have it. That little still small voice that you hear and often will say, something told me not to do that or to do that and I didn't do it. It's an inner knowing, intuition. We all have it, but some of us are better at listening to it Others are better at squashing it and say, no, I'm not going to do that. But trust your inner knowing. The next D is for do the things that can only be done by you. Regardless of how you feel. You may not feel like doing it. You set a goal. You're, you're clear about what you want. But today you just don't feel like following through with it. Do it. Do the things that can only be done by you. No one can do it for you. There are certain things that we just have to do for ourselves. Even if we had those three people that we could delegate <laughs> some things to, there are certain things we just have to do for ourselves. If I'm sleepy, I can't delegate them to get me some rest. If I'm hungry for a grilled cheese sandwich, nobody can eat it for me and provide that nourishment for me. And the last E is for expectations. Expect to get what you want. If you set a goal, if you're clear about what it is you want, you're working towards it, and don't have a negative attitude like, it probably won't happen. You know, with my luck, it never happens. If I buy a lottery ticket, I probably won't win. Well, give me that lottery ticket. I'll hold on to it. So expect to get the outcome that you are working towards. So, how do you create balance in every area of your life? Decide. 